The Reserve Bank of India recently announced a record-breaking dividend payout of a massive 2.1 lakh crore rupees to the government for the financial year 2024. This windfall is more than double the amount the government had budgeted for and comes as an unexpected boost to the government's fiscal position. Let's jump in and discover the implications of this. To start off, the Reserve Bank of India is a non-profit organization as the goal of the RBI is to not make profits but to manage inflation and help the economic growth with the right set of monetary policies. But why does the RBI divid pay dividends to the government? Being owned by the government of India, RBI has a dual responsibility to maintain monetary stability and overlook India's credit and currency system and in this process it makes huge chunks of money. After meeting operational expenses and for making provisions for contingencies, the RBI surplus profits are transferred to the government as a dividend. This is similar to how a company distributes profits to its shareholders. In context, the RBI normally pays a dividend from the surplus income it makes from investments and valuation changes on its dollar holdings. Fees it earns from printing currency a process known as seniorage. It also earns income from government securities it holds and bonds of foreign central banks or top rated securities. Lastly, from its operations in financial markets when it intervenes to buy or sell foreign exchange. While the government makes huge money through tax revenue in the form of direct and indirect taxes, it also generates non-tax revenue which is through government's earnings from interest on loans, dividends from RBI and several public sector undertakings and also from disinvestments. Coming back to the main topic, the latest dividend from RBI which amounted to 2.11 lakh crore for fiscal 24 is 141% higher than last year's transfer of 87,416 crores. In fact, the government had budgeted and expected around 1 lakh crore as surplus transfer but this comes as an unexpected boost to the government's fiscal position. If seen as the trend, this is the highest ever dividend received from the RBI over all the years. The major reason for the all-time high surplus transfer is the substantial increase in interest earnings from the deployment of reserves in developed countries' securities as their interest rates have gone up due to their monetary policy action to control inflation in the last one year. So now, what is the implication of this? Firstly, this hefty dividend can significantly help the government bridge the fiscal deficit, the gap between its expenditure and income. This surplus payout is likely to help ease fiscal 25 fiscal deficit and ultimately help in achieving the broader goal of 5.1% fiscal deficit target set for fiscal, 20, fiscal year 25, a considerable reduction from 5.8% in fiscal year 24. Secondly, the additional revenue provides the government with extra room for expenditures or on contrary can reduce government borrowings which will leave more in the banking sector for loans to corporates and consumers thereby leading a spur in economic growth. Another important point to highlight is that the RBI board has decided to raise the contingency risk buffer also known as CRB to 6.5% from 6%. The CRB is a specific provision fund kept by the central bank primarily to be used during any of the unexpected and unforeseen contingencies. After the COVID-19 pandemic and owing to macroeconomic conditions, the RBI board has been providing to these unforeseen contingencies through the CRB. These include any events like depreciation of security values, risks from monetary rate policy changes and systematic risks to the system etc. To conclude, RBI's record dividend payout is a significant boost for the government's finances. This unprecedented surplus transfer not only supports the government's immediate financial goals but also strengthens the overall economic framework, fostering potential growth and stability in the long run. Having said that, this is me Rahulson signing off. Have a great day and stay safe. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.